everybody, welcome back to the wonderful world of Mind's Eye. Unbox is the show where we explore the latest and greatest toys to roll in our shop, Mind's Eye. My name is Chris, and this is Sonia. Today on episode 148, we're going to be unboxing a few art pieces that have dropped onto some bare bricks. We've got famous artists here today, including Andy Warhol, Basquiat, Banksy, and a little bit of something special too. All right, so this is an all-star lineup. Let's get right to it. It's, it's time, time to, to get, get unboxed. Okay, Sonia, I don't know which one to open first. That's you know what, let, let's start with Andy Warhol yes. first. We got two very classic Americana series here. We got one that is the Triple Elvis. And, and uh, Monroe. 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 Yes, it's actually, I just saw a piece of news about this particular one. The what? auction, right? When yeah. it sold, um, it's actually a different color, but it's pretty much um, Marilyn Monroe. I think her skin is like yellow. And it's like the color. most highest auction yeah, ever. Yeah, right? it's a new record. I think with the fees, it ended up being $195 million. That's US. insane. That's insane. Oh. That's crazy. So yeah, and, and this particular one, the Triple Elvis one here, I know this because I've done this for some other show before, but the Triple Elvis print that's actually on here is the most famous one. So Andy Warhol has several different Elvis prints out there, but this Triple Elvis one is the one that was sold for 89 million a few years back, maybe a about a decade back. There's actually other ones too, like there's double Elvis, there's okay. single Elvis, and I think there's actually a double Elvis one here in Toronto at the AGO downtown. So I know quite a bit about, about this piece here. Yeah. But why don't we just get to it, let's crack these open, let's show the folks out there what's on these bare bricks. So this is a definitely cheaper route too, you know, instead of, instead of spending millions. The, yes, it is true. Tis true. Of course, there's Mr. Pat as always. Oops, there's some pump pop and a bunch of other pops over the other side. Let's just take these right out there. Stand these together. Best buddies. Both of these use the hydro dip method of uh, printing to get the graphics on there. So it's basically, you know, about yeah, what this yeah, is, right? Yeah. It's like the layer of yeah, the, layer the water. Yeah, the the actual printing, and then they will take the piece, so bare brick in this case, and they like dip it in. And then so each piece has its own like unique um, placement of the print and Oh, that makes everything special. <laughs> yeah, because like the reason why I like that so much because now every time I buy one of these, I know that there's not going to be another one out there that's exactly like this. Like I will have a one of one of this design. And like, because if somebody else has one that's similar, it's going to be, you know, shifted up and down or whatever. This one is actually pretty good. It's got them right in the center there. How about this one here? I didn't see this the front. One. Oh, uh <laughs> actually looks like yeah it looks pretty good it's pretty good sometimes here. you get like a pattern and like you don't have i know but like you want it right in the center I don't this know, one's pretty good though it depends though. how some people want it because some people like that you know if you have like the especially something with the face like right center in the face yeah. so you get a very clear view of it or you know even out yes it just depends on your preference right? yeah honestly i'm still a little bit shocked about the sticker price for that print <laughs> And they both happen to be Andy Warhol. Like these are hot, very expensive prints that are put onto these bare bricks. But this is a lot cheaper. <laughs> yeah, like like you said, yeah, it is the cheaper way to do it. And you know what, bare bricks is like, I mean, this is not cheap. It's just cheaper. I like the art ones, all of the ones that we have here today, because, you know, sometimes you don't want like an Elmo like this sitting in your living room it's just like it's too loud and it's too colorful sometimes you know you might want to have like an art piece you know like elvis or like you know or an andy warhol piece oh, this one's in, your, in your in your <laughs> It'll just replace me for now. Or you can, Super you know, huge. We have a thousand percent size of this one too, but yeah. I think it's just just too big to bring into this room right now. To have an art piece in, in your home, in your living room, makes more sense to get something like this sometimes over than the uh, the actual the larger like Elmo, the cartoony kind of figures. I mean, I love those too. Obviously, I have one behind me, but for your home, you might want to have something like these. Yeah. Sonia's got in her lap. She's got a thousand percent. So. You, you can get the set, which comes with the 100% percent 
the 400% or the giant 70 centimeter 1000% bare brick, which is a freaking so thing of yeah, beauty. You can, you can see here, I'm gonna stand this right on the table gently here, where it just kind of gets to its right to its tummy. So you're getting a, so much more bare brick in the thousand percent of course. I really love it. Oh, and also one thing to mention too, they're super high gloss. Look at the gloss finish on these things. You can actually see yourself right in them. Yes. Oh, oh, there we go. We catch the light. You can see, oh, <laughs> yeah. reflecting all the light there. There we well, go. Two Andy Warhol pieces off to start. We got Jean-Michel Basquet. And Andy Warhol. And Andy Warhol. Yes, so this is a collaboration piece that they did together and now it's on a bare brick. So there's something funny about this because we all know that both artists, they're not here anymore. So what's cool about this series is it's like the two foundations of the artists, they sort of like came together in modern times to create this collaboration. I knew that they knew each other back then so this is sort of like a reimagining of like what they would do if they came together and did like a mashup. So that's what this is. Even on the back, you got the Warhol basket. You got both of the signatures that are right on the back. And yeah. again. So it, it's interesting. Yeah, they mash up that style because Andy Warhol is known for uh, more of their, his, you know, foundations of the pop art, whereas Biscat is more on the um, well, new, I mean, it, new expression. Yeah. <laughs> I did look it's that. very abstract. It's, Sometimes I look at his stuff. It's, it's a little, abstract. it's actually less abstract, right? Because the neo um, expressionism is actually more uh, like you still have qualities, of, you can still see like humans. So you can see like the teeth on this piece yeah. and the eyes, but it's very rough. It's almost like you can tell, but it's also kind of abstract at the same time. So mm -hmm. that is what he like, you know, classify as an artist. Another art piece that would look awesome in the living room. Of course, uh, there is also a thousand percent. It's right here Way beside me. Inside. So if you want Look at this. bigger things in life, it also comes in a thousand percent. And it comes with all the nice, awesome clickiness that Bear Bricks do have. Listen to that sound. And this also has a very high gloss finish to the print here. And then Ooh. you can actually really see the details in all of the, like, the um, ad kind of Images. Yeah, this is awesome. I actually am really holding myself back because I know you're not supposed to get high in your own supply, but sometimes, once in a while, you might want to like, you know, just hold on to it and oh, there you go. take take one home. Breathe it in, Chris. I think I might do it actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one is great. The color is awesome too. It's uh, it's not too loud and it's sort of like a nice color. What is this last one that we're checking out? Uh, Banksy, this is the um, flying girl with the balloons, which is not to be confused by the girl with the balloons, which is the, the one with the red balloons. That one, that one kind of shook the uh, art scene right. when it went flying balloon girl. When it went uh, shredded. Banksy is a English artist, and he, is, he might be. His identity is still yet an illusion to this day. No one has hundred percent confirmed who he is, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I could be Banksy. I love this piece. If I was to display this piece, I would definitely put the box beside it. The one thing about this particular piece here is it, it's gloss here, but on the box itself, you can sort of see the uh, sort of like the cement mark, the cement texture that's on the back because this piece was actually painted, if I'm not mistaken, on like, like what is it? A what? Wall or yeah, a concrete yeah. wall in like Israel, Palestine. Like there's like a the Gaza Strip there, and it was painted on there as a symbol, like of this girl wanting to escape or you know try to get out. I think that's what the story is, Lane. Don't kill that's, me for that's it. That's a legend because he he never comes forth with like what the interpretation is. So it's a lot of the fans go and have great discussions of, in length even um, on what some of his pieces stand for. Yeah. So his art pieces actually uh, fall under the category of temporary art. 
So those are a lot of exhibitions that are only ever so lasting. So being a graffiti artist, usually that is something that um, most building owners would want to wash away and get rid of over time. If they're smart, they would never do that. <laughs> They'd but, probably rip the wall. Yes, they've actually done that. Uh, so some of the his art pieces, um, they've actually tore down chunks of wall um, to preserve it. It's technically falls under tempor uh, temporary art, but <laughs> what happens when you cut it out? I know, right? I know. This also comes in a big 1,000% more. Oh my God. <laughs> this this, this, is this box is awesome. This box. This is, you might as well have like the whole, this is like cutting a chunk of the, the wall yourself at this point. Should we I take this out? Should we take I it out? completely, you know, I'm just covered with myself. We'll, we'll take it out. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's do it. It is like as big as our table, right? These ones don't have the stickers okay. on there. You're so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull. I love the front of this one. It's got the balloons like right in the center here with the girl right there. Yeah, and I feel like the bigger one, you can actually see the cement texture a lot, yeah, a that's, lot better. You can that's see like right. the little perforated bits here um, where it's a little bit more smudgier, um, I guess because yeah. of the scaling. Check out the back there too. It's got two of the girls right there. You can totally clearly see the balloons. This is an awesome piece. I'm so glad yeah, we just I, I took this I actually out. really like it because the lines also kind of like are parallel. <laughs> I'm very like, I need symmetrical. So the lines are just perfectly like on mm -hmm, both sides mm -hmm, there. So mm -hmm. that is a great, wonderful piece. Of course. All right, we are, we're going, not... this, we're going to be out of this scene at this point. All yeah. Right, just, Who cares? Who cares about us? We're yeah. Just, we're just going to build our the, favorite the, the toys are the star of the show here. <laughs> No, no one cares about us anyways. You're here for the toys, right? <laughs> and there you have it, folks. <laughs> no, for real. There you have it, folks. Thank you so much for watching this episode. It was really fun to make it. If you do like any of these bear breaks, there are links in the description below if you're watching on YouTube. Or you know what? You can simply head on over to our website, mindseye.com, to find the products and you can pick it up there as well. Remember to smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to support our channel, you can always give a little extra something with our super thanks located down in the rest of the buttons down below. So that's all the time we have for today, and we'll see you on the next episode of Unboxed. See you. Bye. Bye.